We did it, Jimmy. Congratulations. We did it. Yes, we did. What did you do, by the way? Uh, support. <laughs> I, I, I rooted. I yelled. I. Uh... Thank you, friend. But did you have the best car yesterday? I did for the final two laps. <laughs> Up until then, I, I, I didn't. Um, man, what a wild change of events, the way that thing unfolded. Um, you know, I watched the other championship, the other three championship four drivers just kind of outrun me all day long, and I could work my way to fifth or sixth, but that was about it. So uh, at the end, when it mattered, though, we, we, we had the car to get the job done. What were you told in your headset with the uh, Carl Edwards crash? Uh, really nothing was told. I, I could see it all happen in front of me. Um, I assumed both cars were out. I was surprised the 622 was able to continue on as I passed them both. Uh, I thought they were both going into the wall pretty hard. So thankful that I didn't get caught up in it. And I uh, assumed at that point I was just really racing the 18, but then the 22 made it back out. How much sleep have you had? Uh, about an hour. Not if, much. If you had to race today. Could you? Wouldn't be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> it would not be a good idea. <laughs> How did you celebrate? Um, so I didn't leave the track until probably close to 2 o'clock, oh, finishing man. up all the media obligations. And then I uh, had some friends in South Beach and caught up with them, my team, and uh, went back to the hotel room and had a, had a beer with my wife and a couple other friends and then went to bed. I actually started packing, then then went to bed and only got about an hour of sleep before I had to get up and get, uh, get to the car. What's the off season going to be like? Uh, it should be pretty relaxed. I look forward to catching up. It's been such a grind uh, working through the final months of the season, and I, I really just need some family time to connect with my, my wife and kids. Seven titles put you in that rarefied air. Has it sunk in? What's it mean to you? It's starting to sink in. I mean, I, I've never been one that's paid attention to stats, so I clearly understand the situation I'm in and, and what we've been able to accomplish, but um, it's just its wild to me. I feel like I'm watching a movie for someone else, to be quite honest with you. Uh, did you, uh, do you watch football at all on Sunday before the race? Do you keep up, or do you even have the opportunity, or do you care? No, I do care. I haven't had a chance to watch much this year, but we're always racing, um, you know, obviously when the games are taking place. But you guys don't have a fantasy team, do you? I joined one once, and the draft took so long that I haven't been back. <laughs> well, wait a minute. <laughs> Chased What's, me away. What takes longer, the draft or a race? That's true. That's, that's a good argument. I, I give you that. Um, I, I guess this is kind of awkward, but you were in studio last week, and you know, I thought you know we kind of built up a pretty good bond there of maybe adding something to the man cave here and you know, Denny Hamlin has his uh, his steering wheel from when he won Daytona 500. So uh, I threw this out to uh, Carl and, and Joey uh, last Tuesday here, and then I'll, I'll get your reaction. Okay, if, if, it, if one of you two wins, then how about the gloves? Oh, cool. All right. Is that all right? Yeah, that's Absolutely, easy. yeah. You got great. it. We'll, we'll mount them. We'll... Uh, Hamlin's steering wheel from Daytona might get a little bit more. Okay, for, that we, okay, people well, get the idea. So, so you were in the back room watching that, Jimmy, and I kind of was asking you through them if you won. I thought the deal was my dirty socks. Paulie, did we ask the for the rain. dirty? You brought up dirty socks as well. Hmm. I'll take it. <laughs> we'll get you something for the man cave, and it's got to go above above whatever Denny Hamlin. Oh, wow! Sure. Wow. Okay. I saw where you gave your helmet to uh, Tony Stewart. Yes, I did. Oh, that's pretty he cool. Was, he was asking um, a few of the drivers to, you know, to trade helmets in this final season. And I, I don't know. I, I thought about it before the race. I thought, man, it'd be really cool if I was able to win this race, give him that helmet. So I know how much it would mean to him. Uh, it would mean a lot to me for, for him to have it in his collection. And he walked up on stage to congratulate us, and I was like, you know, this, this is the time, and I screamed down to some guys by the car. They pulled the helmet out and handed it to me, and I was able to give it to them. Did he cry? No, no, he didn't. Uh, didn't go there. He was he was blown away, and he's like, "Man, I I can't take it." I said, "No, you, you've got to take it." Um, and then, then he gave me the disclaimer that if I ever wanted it back, all I had to do was call and he'll send it back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're not getting it back. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't, <laughs> You're I don't not. plan on it. <laughs> hey, no. I, I know you have a busy day. Congrats. It was great seeing you in the man cave last week, and hopefully you get some rest uh, in the offseason. Thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, Dan. All Take right. Care.